Hello, you all, Rappers Union. I'm your founder, Michelle Hope Walker, Blondie Pink, rapper, singer. Michelle Hope Walker, comedian, actress, civil rights leader, Michelle Hope Walker. But key thing with the Rappers Union is rapper, singer, Blondie Pink, Michelle Hope Walker. Okay, so here we go. We're going to dive right in, you all, because this has been Women's Month, so celebration to all our uh, female women rappers out there. And then this last week here, because today is March 30th, 2024, it's Saturday. So also is African American Policy Forum and hashtag Say Her Name and Kimberly Crenshaw has designated the last week of March, which marches with Women's Month. Month, but the last week of March as Black Women's Week um, and checking on the status of Black women. And so, um, yeah, so we're going to dive right in. So the status and I'm um, just looking at our Black female rappers. Yes. And um, here's the thing, you know, so much has been going on and out about so many of you go on YouTube, the videos and just even just our regular news have been talking about. Um so black women, stay healthy. That's the key thing. Stay healthy, stay safe. Our black female rappers, stay safe. You know, it's been a lot of talk, even talking about how even the, uh, you know, as us female, black female rappers who we work with on how sometimes you'll have male people in the industry that are jealous of us, that try to demise our career, our rap career, because they're jealous of us because they don't want the black female rapper to outshine them. So either they don't help them or either they, you know, uh, try to blackball them out the industry, the rap hip hop industry um, and just different things that go on, which is all wrong. It's wrong. So protect the black female rapper. We have to deal with racism. Black female rappers have to deal with racism in the entertainment, the um, hip hop industry, because we still have, you know, the males and even some of the females in our industry that, you know, they, they you know, always looking sideways, meaning negatively at us black women, female rappers. Why are you wearing your hair like this? You should wear your hair like that. You should know we wear our hair the way we want to wear our hair. We dress the way we want to dress. If we don't want to show all our body off, we don't have to. If we do want to show certain things, our body, we can, you know, so in, even in decision making of the black female rapper, the challenges that black female rappers go through. And again, just recording in safety. So again, with Rappers Union, you know, like I said, we talk about, um, again, uh, those that are assigned with corporations, making sure that the corporations who are making billions, trillions of dollars off of rappers, pay rappers, also do better contracts with rappers. But then also, as we talk about working conditions, we also include that. So as we're in Women's Month, and this is Black Women's Week, we talk about the working conditions of Black women, uh, female rappers in this hip hop industry, um, rap industry, you know, the safety, you know, so, um, you know, when, when Black rappers, Black female women rappers come into the studio we are not there for you to do sexual assault essay what we say essay i know a lot of people saying the essay <laughs> i don't know why they've been saying it but i'm thinking it's a reason you know <laughs> so i'm just gonna follow after them you know so we have to watch being essay art and all kind of stuff just in the studio so it's very you know we have to watch our safety in these studios in meetings you know, we came to meet to, to talk about better in our contract, us black women, female rappers. Um, we came to the music studio to do our music, record and, you know, our ideas and, and uh, you know, our music and stuff and come together with the other rappers or the people just working in the music industry from the managers to the reps, just everybody, you know, all the different parts and the integral parts of the music industry. Um, you know, we meet with all these different people, right? You know, uh, but it's about us being safe. We're going to promote our music at events, networking events. You know, now I myself, I really try to avoid these mansion type stuff. <laughs> Mm -mm. You know, because there's many rooms in these mansions and I'm not trying to get caught up in one of them. I don't drink nothing from nobody, which I don't drink alcohol and do drugs and nothing like that anyway. I mean, again, that's your business if you do. So I'm not knocking myself. I'm saying this, I don't drink alcohol <laughs> and I don't, you know, um, do street drugs or whatever narcotic type. Drug. I don't do that. You okay? You know what I'm saying? But you, you have to watch yourself. You don't need to be drinking nothing. Bring your own water. <laughs> 
you know, you just have to be careful out here, black women, female rappers, because it goes on, it goes down. And so we continue at the, as Rappers Union, talk about make sure you are making the environment that hip hop, you are making the hip hop rap industry safe for black women, female rappers in this industry. And men, stop being jealous of women. Stop being jealous of us black women, female rappers. Stop it. You know, you worried about we going to overtake. It's enough room for all of us to shine. You don't have to be little and try to put down the black woman, female rapper, black women, female rappers to make yourself look good. And it don't look good on you. It really looks, you know, it don't look right on a man to be, um, you know, putting their sister, their black sister down. It don't look right. It just really don't look right. It don't, it look, ugh, it don't look right. It look bad on you. You know, that jealousy on you, it look bad. It don't look good for you, for you to be jealous of your black sisters, your black sisters, your black women, female rappers. That's not right, man. You need to stop that. You know, and a lot of time us black women, female rappers, we feel that we can sense it. We can tell when somebody is not really for us. We understand. And that's why sometimes then you don't see that woman again, <laughs> that black woman, female rapper, because she has decided she's not working with you. <laughs> you done done something. You done said something. You done maybe got two hands in. You done done something. <laughs> and you ain't seen her since. <laughs> I know I'm like that. I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. you know, and because again, also people in the hip hop rap industry, music industry, protect black women, female rappers. When you see another person um, doing something wrong to a black woman, female rapper, don't just sit there and be quiet. Say something. Because right now, there's a lot of stuff going on. And a lot of people are looking to me like, well, why didn't you say something back then? Now, don't get me wrong. I know people are like, well, I'm going to protect myself. I got to look out for me. True. But still, you know, we also got to look out for each other. You know what I'm saying? So still do something. Try to help in some way. If anything, pull that person apart. You uh, Pull that person and a part to the side. That's what I'm trying to say. Not a part. That's what I'm trying to make sure don't nobody tear nobody down. But pull that um, female rapper, black woman, female rapper to the side and have a discussion with her about, you know, if you're seeing somebody's doing something wrong to her, at least then help give her some helpful information. If you are too afraid, or I'm not even going to say it for example, I'm going to say you're scared, but you know, there's many reasons why many people aren't speaking up. You know, they're thinking about their livelihood or whatever. I'm not saying it makes it right, but okay. You know what I'm saying? But at least then pull aside and have a conversation with the black woman, female rapper who you are seeing that these people are doing these bad things too. To, to her, you know, have a conversation with her. Maybe say, you know, look, you know, there's other people you can work with. You don't have to work with this person. You don't have to deal with um, this work environment that they are exposing you to or these things, these negative things, uh, these essay are things that they're doing to you. You don't have to um, deal with that, you know. And so, um, you know, yeah, somebody say something. You know what I'm saying? So again, this is your know, Rappers Union, and I'm the owner, founder of Rappers Union. So again, like I said, Rappers Union is about, you know, making sure these corporations, these million, billion dollar music record labels pay our rappers, making sure that they do better contracts with the rappers and make sure working conditions are better. Nobody should have to sleep with nobody to get a contract. Nobody should be SA. Nobody should be ARG. Nobody should have to deal with working conditions that are not right you know what i'm saying and, and at this point even legal you know? <laughs> a lot of things that we're hearing about that have been done to people in the rap industry rappers black women um black women female rappers is a crime that they've been that you know what's been done to black women um female rappers and it must stop it must stop and let it stop with you if you're one of the ones doing it stop it you don't, you know, because you're not going to do it to a white woman. You're not going to do it to a white woman. But it's sad that, again, even within the hip hop rap industry, where there's a lot of black people in that industry, they will still devalue the black woman. They will still devalue the black women rappers. It is so wrong. 
They will mistreat them, talk about them, dog them out, uh, put their projects on hold. Uh, just a lot of stuff that they would not do to the, the white female rappers, the Latino female rappers, or even the Asian female rappers. They won't do that to them, but they will do that to the black women female rappers. And it's wrong. You shouldn't be doing it to nobody, but this is Black Women's Week, so and I'm a black woman, so we're going to talk about black women right now. I love all the other women and all the other races because it is Women's Month, and I love all the women. But right now, we're talking about black women and the injustices done in the hip-hop rap industry against black women female rappers. It's wrong. Stop it. I'm your rapper, singer, Blondie Pink, Michelle Hope Walker. And this day of this video is May 30th, 2024, Saturday. Um, Easter's coming up. I love my Lord Jesus. I'm a Christian. And actually, it's God that helps us to make it in this industry. When we're dealing with people that we know are belittling us and putting us down because we are black women, female rappers. So therefore, they think they can treat us less than no. And black women, female rappers, we love ourselves. I know for me, I mean, if I got to do my music a cappella forever, that is what I would do. Because <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not going in these studios with people that want to get all handsy. And that's men and women. Get all handsy with you, S.A. and R. and, and all this, or, or either just devalue you as a artist. No. Value black women, female rappers. Value black women, female rappers. We matter. Black women, female rappers matter. Our working conditions matter. We should have good working conditions. And then quit also trying to put black female rappers against black female rappers. It's so wrong. No, there's enough room for all of us out there to shine. We can encourage each other. I'm an encourager. And I love giving people compliments and encourage people. And it's real. You know, when I say something positive about you, that's real out of my heart. You know, because I'm one that I'm just not going to say nothing, but I'm not either I'm going to say something, I ain't going to say nothing about it, but I'm not going to lie about a compliment that I'm giving you if that's what I'm giving, if that's the compliment I'm saying. That's just me. I love all people, no matter what race, color, whatever. But I have to talk about black women. I am a black woman, and I deal with a lot of these things. I'm a rapper, and I deal with all of this stuff a lot, and I see other black women, female rappers, deal with these issues. So right now, it's a lot of it has been coming out right now in the discussion. So as we're celebrating Women's Month, as we're celebrating Black Women's Week, protect Black women female rappers. In the name of Jesus, I pray safety for Black women female rappers. All we're doing is trying to do our art and our music just like everybody else. We are valuable just like everybody else. So in the name of Jesus, keep angels of protection around us Black women female rappers. Make sure that people um, who are working with us give do the best, work with us, give us the best. Um, you know, and you know, we just thank you, God, for all the goodness. You know that um, just good people around us in the name of Jesus. All right, y'all. So I'm rapper Blondie Pink, Michelle Hope Walker, and this is Black Women's Week, and this is um, Women's Month, March 2024 and Black Women's Week. Um, and so wanted to make sure I got in there uh, as far as from the uh, Rappers Union, which I'm the founder of, Michelle Hope Walker, Blondie Pink rapper, um, that we talked about Black women, female rappers, you know, and please treat black women, female rappers um, good. You know, please treat them good. Make sure their working conditions are pay them corporate. Because, you know, this is what we talk about the rappers unions. Corporations is making trillions and billions of dollars off of rappers. Make sure you pay um, black women, female rappers, which I heard that Megan Thee Stallion got a good contract. So shouts out to her. I'm hearing a lot of them getting good contracts. And that's good with these corporations. Because some people, they want to be with the corporate. They don't want to be independent. And that's fun. That's their right. But we are asking, Rappers Union is, is asking that these corporations make sure that they pay the rappers and that they also do better contracts, do good, fair contracts with rappers and also better working conditions with rappers. Nobody should have to sleep with nobody to get a contract. All right, you all. So again, protect black women, female rappers. Make sure that black women, female rappers are treated fair, that they're paid, and that they have good contracts. All right, you all. I'm rapper Blondie Pink, Michelle Hope Walker, Rappers Union, founder of Rappers Union.